Olá, this is Clarice Mess, the Brazilian one, and we are on Vida, one Vida day in August. And today I come to show you my silver collection. I have a passion for silver and I cannot resist when I see one I need to buy. And and I have a lot. So I will show you my favorite pieces. But first I will show you how I clean my silver. Let's see how to clean it. So I have here my silver that I bought at uh, Goodwill. So let's see if it will clean the way I am expecting. So let's see it. The best product I ever used for silver is this one. I try others, but I think this one is the best, the easiest. I tried this one, but I didn't like too much. And this one comes with these little sponges. So it's a, it's a cream, mine is almost in the end. And I put a little bit of the cream here, and let's start scrubbing it to see if it will really get clean as I am expecting. Oh yes, it's already getting clean. And it's really black. I'm cleaning inside now. And I love the result to get something so black and turn it so beautiful. It is something that I really enjoy doing. Then when it's all clean, I turn my hot water on. And then I put my silver under the hot water. And I put a little soap in a very soft sponge. And I wash it. And then I dry it with a soft, normally dark color towel dish. I choose a dark color uh, towel dish because always uh, a little black uh, stem come from the silver. So I always try to use a, a dark color from, from my uh, kitchen dish. So here is the result, very clean. And I love it. So let's see some pieces of my collection. So now that you saw how I clean, it's not hard, but to who have as much I have, sometimes take me the whole day to clean this all. But a good trick with silver is, silver doesn't like air. You need to keep them in a closed closet or inside of a plastic bag to the air don't tarnish it. If you protect your silver from the air, this can be um, clean for six months, maybe even a year, you don't need to clean it. So this make life much easier. So let's see my collection. So here I have the ones that, that we clean there together. And I have this little uh, little cup here that is very special for my to my heart because this belonged to a son of a friend of mine, and she didn't uh, like to clean. And she said, "Clarice, I will not keep it clean. So you love silver, you take care. So this is uh, very close to my heart." And another piece that she gave me, she gave something that used to belong to her grandmother. It's a very beautiful, um, let me get here to show you. It's a very beautiful plate and 
So it is uh, antique and I love it. I like it because it's, uh, here uh, it's very small and my um, ice uh, container fits very well here and seems like they are, you know, born to be together. <laughs> so I use it with my um, ice container most of the time so i think this is very beautiful and, and i love little pieces uh i'm a kind of person that likes everything big like the decoration in my house i like big things not little is you know uh things but silver i like small too so i have this piece that i think is very interesting and you can um Put a, a jelly here or a butter to put in your table. I think this is very beautiful. I love it. And I have this one that looks like a bathtub and I use it with soap in my guest bathroom. And look at this. This is not the most beautiful scoop oh my gosh i love it and i use it when i serve soups or in a punch i think it's really really beautiful how how can i resist oh gosh <laughs> and then i have a lot of this kind that i think is so cute for the party to put little bonbons you know uh nuts or so i have a lot of this kind uh little containers i have uh these spoons to serve the food that i think is very beautiful and they have these details here i have this uh a cake spatula and i have this to get flour or sugar that i think is so cool and I have this that I don't know how the name is in English, but is to put knives uh, when you serve a dinner, like a, a buffet style, like a buffet style dinner, and you put your knives to rest here. I think it's very uh, cool piece, piece. And I have uh, the one for forks and um, the one for um, spoons. So I think it's a very interesting piece. And I love this little plate that a friend of mine brought from German. You know, when someone save a little space in the suitcase for you, it is really special. <laughs> And I have a lot of this kind to put uh, a, a hot dish on the table. I think they are very beautiful and very practical. And I have this piece that I like very much, this um, plate. And have this uh, little dish that goes here. Normally I serve like strawberry with whipped cream or chips and sauce. So I think it's very beautiful. I have this jar that is from, from India and this has little flowers that all over. I think it's very different. I have another one, a bigger one, and is uh, like flat, like, you know, just playing here. But I think this one is really, really different and beautiful. And I have this little plate that it is like uh, deep and I think it's like, you know, a different kind of plate and I, with all this um, decoration here that is uh, grapes and grape, le grape leaves. I think it's very beautiful. It's kind of like this. I like it. To put bread on the table or anything. And then I have a lot of trays and I will show you just one because if I will show you all, <laughs> oh gosh, will be, this video will be too long.
So I, I like this one very much because it's, it's very big and very good tray. And one of my favorite pieces, I have it too that is like, I think it's the most beautiful. So I will show you the first one. Look how beautiful it is. It's a pot and the, the handle here is wood and has a bowl inside and you put hot water here and you put your food and it keep warm. I think this pan is so, so beautiful. This is one of my favorite. And, and then I bought a coffee set that is one of my favorite too. So this is the plate. It's really heavy and good quality. So here I have the sugar bowl from the set. It's a very beautiful one. Have a spoon. And here is the creamer. And came with the coffee pot. Look how beautiful it is. Look this. This is not amazing. I think this is so beautiful and you take out this where you put the fire to get uh, to keep your coffee warm and then you put your uh, coffee pot here and you serve. Oh my gosh, I think this is the most beautiful coffee pot I ever saw. This is really, really is close to my heart. <laughs> ah, I love my silver. I think it worth it, the, the work that it gives me. I really enjoy my silver and I enjoy cleaning them too, you know. It's not, it's a lot of work because I have too much. But if you have just few pieces and you keep it uh, out of the air, you will be okay. So yesterday I uh, talked about uh, crystal, how to take care of your crystal, how to know if you are just a glass or a crystal. And so if you didn't see my video, you want to see, go here. And tomorrow I will start a series, a series in beans. Tomorrow I will do a black beans. We are going from silver to beans. <laughs> tomorrow uh, I will do a black beans and I put lime and ginger and it is really good. Then after tomorrow I will do a... Um, Huevos Rancheros that you use the same beans or you can buy uh, canned beans, doesn't matter. And then I you do a detox with the beans to a detox salad with the beans. And then next day I will teach you how to do um, cranberry beans. That is really good. It's kind of sweet beans. And so... I hope you like this video, my silver collection. See you tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up if you like. Subscribe to my channel and see you tomorrow with black beans. Bye.